Hey friends, welcome to Mr. Mark's Classroom. My name is Mark Jones and I've got a seasonal idea for you and that's for children to be able to paint for corn. You know, like that Indian corn that we, we see decorated with during the fall. Well, here it is. We can do it pretty simple ourselves. And so the first thing to do, teacher part, is that you would make the corn. Now, I would just cut along the edge like this. I don't really, I don't really need a line to help me, but if you want to draw it first and, and cut several at once, I think that'd be fine. But here's the big corn. Okay, then we'll have to have a couple of ears of for the corn as well. So that would be the leaves. So let's cut some leaves. So I'll put two together and I'm gonna do that. Flip it over and almost the same thing as the corn except it's going to be more of a point instead of a rounded end like the corn. So I'm gonna take these apart and the corn's gonna go on like this. So I think that gives you the idea. We'll add that in just a minute. Now that's all cut. We're ready to paint on our ears of corn. And the best way to do that is using Legos. I know, isn't that great? And so I just dip it into the paint and then I start stamping. Here's all the corns, the kernels, <laughs> the corns. And so our preschoolers are gonna love stamping with the Lego. And the great thing is Legos are actually, you know, just plastic so we can sanitize them and get them ready to use again. If you wanna use other colors with some reds or whatever, I think that would be fine too. But honestly, that color is not a problem to the kids. They just like stamping with it. So gobs and gobs of fun and you can get it on the table, just like Mr. Mark did. All right, so it's pretty easy, wouldn't you say? Now we can put on the ears that go on the corn and simply do that with a little Elmer's glue. So I'm gonna lift that up and do a little Elmer's right underneath. And then again, on the other side, pick this up and put it on. So I can adjust it just the way I want it. And there you go. We have our corn. We're ready for this fall for autumn and to celebrate the harvest. This is gonna be a lot of fun and your preschoolers are gonna enjoy it very much. Let me just say, I've got lots of great holiday ideas in our Holidays 365 that you can see at mrmarksclassroom.com slash store. And it's even in a digital download now too. So check it out. I think you're gonna like the ideas in it because it's for the whole year, not just for the fall or for Christmas. I also have my new leadership book. It's 31 Days to Finding Your Kids Ministry Mojo. What is it that you could be doing so dynamic that you just don't know right now? Well, I've got lots of practical ideas right here and do a little bit each day. There's only a couple of pages, answer some questions for one month and you can get your mojo on. Hey friends, just a reminder that my new book, 31 Days to Finding Your Kids Ministry Mojo is available. It's just a little bit of reading each day, answer a few questions and find out some things that I reveal about myself, of good and bad and how you measure up and you can get stronger in kids' ministry. Take the challenge today.